Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Health update. So I went to doctors on duty or urgent care, whatever you want to call it, maybe. Um, yesterday I have been having really bad abdominal and back pain as well as actually nausea and violently throwing up. Uh, threw up last night and the other morning. Went to the doctor, they saw me and did a urine sample. Um, they found blood in my urine, but they always find blood in my urine, so that was nothing new. Um, and basically just told me, you know, if it gets any worse, go to the hospital, which is what happened today. So, I woke up, I felt like shit, excuse my language, was not feeling any better. Um, pain had gotten progressively worse. I have been uh, taking ibuprofen, like candy, like it's candy. Hi, Bean. <laughs> Excuse him. Um, and using my heating pad and I've been taking my gabapentin as prescribed and nothing seemed to help. So, went into the ER. Um, they actually took an ultrasound of <laughs> your, get out of the frame now. Um, took an ultrasound of my liver. Why? I don't know, but they did. Took an ultrasound of my liver. I recently had a CAT scan uh, that showed some... Actually, I do know why. They, I, took, I had a CAT scan last month because um, I was in the ER with really bad abdominal pain again. And I there was some weird restrictive blood flow that was happening to my liver. Um, so they did an ultrasound. Ultrasound looked okay. There's no... I guess, reason why I should be in this much pain, go figure, they don't know what's not wrong, always. Um, again, my platelets and my white blood cell count um, were all elevated. Um, they don't know why, they never do. Uh, luckily, they did help me out, so I did get four prescriptions today. Um, oh, what are you doing? Excuse Koa, he's doesn't know what to do when I vlog. <laughs> um, and Bentley is chilling, scratching himself. He doesn't have fleas. He did, they both get their flea medication regularly. Um, so prescribed me um, naproxen, which I already take, but they prescribed me 500 milligrams naproxen. Um, a medicated heating pad, heat patch, um, to put on they gave me uh, uh, um they gave me zofran zofran works really well except when i'm really nauseous i can't take the pill form of zofran so they gave me the sublingual which really helps um and then they also gave me tramadol so basically what they told me was one i need to see urologist because every time they do a urine sample there is always blood which sucks so they recommend me to see a urologist and then a rheumatologist, of course, but it's really hard to see specialists when your own doctor isn't on the ball about it. It's not her fault, really. It's, I live on the Big Island of Hawaii. We don't have a lot of specialists here. We all have to go to Oahu or Maui. Um, and everybody from the islands is trying to see the, all these specialists and we're kind of secluded, obviously, we're in the middle of the ocean. Um, but it's, it's just really, it's really annoying that, you know, I'm in this much pain and have all these weird symptoms that don't make sense to me and I know they're not normal. And I will go in and they will just tell me everything's fine, go home. And I'm gonna, you know, it's, it can be really discouraging because you, you know your own body and you know something isn't right. And so recently I've really had to be a patient advocate for myself and tell them, hey, I am not leaving until like you do something, like something, anything, you know, to rule out, at least do the testing so we can see what it's not to rule it out. I mean, don't look at me and say, oh, you're perfectly fine when I'm not perfectly fine. I should not be in this much amount of pain. I shouldn't have this kidney pain or abdominal pain. I shouldn't have, you know, this nausea and violently throwing up sometimes. It's just these really weird symptoms. You know, they say, oh, 
you shouldn't have joint pain you're young well obviously i know i shouldn't have joint pain i'm young so something is going on um and it really sucks that you know they also pin it on my mental illness so i do suffer from my mental illness um it's another thing that doctors seem to think that if you have a mental illness all your physical symptoms are a result of that mental illness which it's not this isn't depression pain i'm not depression fatigue this is completely different level i am sleeping i'm taking naps once sometimes twice a day with no relief and i i can't work i can't work i can't go to school that's not characteristic of me i i love school i had you know i didn't want to drop out you know i love to work i i had my independence and now i don't have it uh so sorry about going off topic or ranting there i just really need to get that kind of stuff off my chest i did get a couple of clips of me first going to doctors on duty yesterday and then me going to the er today nothing special if you have a needle phobia um trigger warning probably don't want to watch after this um just because you know iv blood drawn all that stuff but yeah uh we'll put the clips there i probably won't be doing any sort of training or pa training for at least a couple of days you know give my body a rest kind of listen to what it needs um so I'll see you guys later in here there's like no mile markers to tell you where <laughs> it looks all the same <laughs>